We are off to sail to one of the most remote and stunning regions in Australia, the Kimberley Coast, a unique and isolated place with incredible biodiversity, huge dramatic tides and scenery that will just blow your mind. But first, we have to sail all those nautical miles to reach it. We took a small weather window to sail from the islands to Dampier, a fresh northerly wind. It had been howling easterlies for over a week, so the sea conditions were not very nice at all. We spent the whole time out in the elements, getting wet and hanging on for a really fast ride. With dreams in his teeth. What do you reckon, Han? Shit, Han! But it makes his bed. On a bench of concrete, fire flies high above the Tapachula Street. Just pulled up in Dampier and we've smashed out all of our jobs and we are ready to leave in the morning. Heading to Broome. Gunning it, babe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get out of the way of this big guy. <laughs> he just radioed us up and um, he just called us up on the radio and he's going to pass us by the stern, but big rig tender of one. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Morning. We are leaving Dampier today and we are sailing through to Broome and we're about to go through the flying foam passage the sky is so beautiful I think it's going to be a pretty light day but there's going to be some wind this afternoon hopefully not too much on the nose so it's day two on our trip to Broome and it is fizzing out there um, we've done about 135 nautical miles in the past 24 hours and we're around the other side of Port Hedland. Um, it's fizzing southeast at the moment, and we are about to head around more to the east. So um, it's meant to drop out by lunchtime. It's out there, manning the helm. Rum and rough weather. I hope that it just backs off a bit because it's pretty rough in the old tanga. We've had a pretty good sail so far, it's been about close to 400 north of mile. Conditions were forecasted to be sort of favourable I suppose and they have been not too bad but yeah, less, they haven't been favourable as they've, well. They've been less than favourable I suppose. It's pretty strong winds up to 30 knots, pretty high angle for us to sail so we had to bear away and um, but we're covering the ground and um, so we've been at it for, this was day three, two nights, we're going into our third night. We're having a really amazing sail at the moment, we're sort of close hauled, um, flat water sailing, doing about five knots along 80 mile beach, which is just south of the room. Aussie. Haven't slept for two nights. <laughs> Haven't slept for two nights, but it's still alright. Bay on that fateful day, the daughter on the B19 was Nagamura. Not yet 21, from the land of the rising sun. His home was the island Okinawa. Holes of the lesser beach shoals, search for the pearl and master's gold. Diver of the beach. So, we have just stopped for a few hours to have a little bit of a rest. Uh, we've come into this big bay, and as per Tanga style, we try to get in as close as we can. And somehow, we have found ourselves in this hole with plenty of water underneath us, but 
We are actually surrounded by shallow sandbanks and waves breaking the whole way around us. Um, so this is dead low tide now. And it's beautiful in here. Sailing past Cable Beach. We're leaving Broome and we're going to the Kimberleys. Woo! Light winds against the tide. What are we doing? Three knots, three and a half knots. Three and a half. So we've spent about five to six days in Broome at Ganthian Point. Had lots of little boat jobs to do. Everything's done. We were waiting on parts from Yamaha um, and we were connecting the sat phone. So that's all up and running. So Ganthian Point wasn't the best anchorage. Um, it's really rolly in there from a bit of swell. Um, there's lots of big boats that come in like the Kimberley Quest and all the big cruise ships that pick up the passengers and then head up through the Kimberleys. Um, so it was pretty busy, there's lots of people on the beach. We've decided to leave today and just make some ground up the coast. So, pretty excited to head into the deep remote Kimberleys. Say goodbye to Okinawa for today. Pretty much riding one hull up on the sand, mate. In the pinband of West Australia. Sailing on high tide past a beautiful red cliff. Wow, we're just at Cape Levick and we are anchored in a really rolly anchorage out there. Sun setting and we're going for a walk up to the resort. We've got some mates that are musos here, so we're gonna go and have a beer and listen to their beautiful tunes. Unreal walking track up to the resort. To the cemetery in Broome, bearing gifts. We watched the sunset while listening to the beautiful Nomadics play some sweet tunes. These guys will be featured in the upcoming Sailing Tanga videos as well as some other Western Australian artists. We're just offshore a little bit from Cape Levick. Um, James is in the water going for a spearfish and I am on Crocodile Watch and Shark Watch. Apparently they don't see many crocs here. So. And hopefully we can get some nice fish because we haven't been doing that well trawling of late. See how he goes. Beautiful down there. Yeah. Couple of fish. Some nice big tuskies, but they are too elusive, so yeah. too hard to get them. But Cape Levick dive. I don't think I'll be diving after here. There's too many crocs, so. so. You got a couple of fish. Couple of fish. Emperor and a tusky. So fish for lunch. The further up the Australian coast we go, we are subject to bigger and bigger tides. The crew on the Tanga, aka Hanski the anchor winch, pulls the anchor by hand every time we move. And in 9 metre tidal movement plus wind against tide, it can make it very difficult and hard to get that bloody thing up.
Kimberley, which is spread over Australia's entire northwestern corner, is one of the last wilderness frontiers. It is one of Australia's hidden treasures, and we are sailing straight into it. I know just a place to energize and retreat. The map won't roll in, but there's more than one way to go. I take myself to where the mala mala flower and the jiggle tree grow. It's why I've come back, back to this lake, back to these waters. It's like a mother's healing me. And that sky's so clear. You feel you swimming in an ocean of stars. Where time moves off, it's on the go. And all the towns and worlds apart. We're a collision of culture. Paint a colorful history. For the many who walk this red dirt. And dive this turquoise sea. It's why I come back. Just anchored up in Silica Bay. There's an amazing beach just in there that we're going to go into shortly. Go for a trek. Anchored at Silica Bay, our first anchorage in the Kimberley. Not bad. Happy, babe. Just heading down the creek uh, to find an anchorage, a safe anchorage, and a non rolly one, hopefully. Finally, eight horsepower yam today is getting a birthday. Um, she had some frayed um, throttle control cables, little Morse cables, little mini ones. So we've got two brand spankers. Uh, to replace there, so that'll be good. We've got a new prop, nice shiny new one. We're going to put some new plugs in there, and we are going to do a oil change on the um, gearbox on the leg. So, yeah, little birthday We're in the Kimberleys. But uh, before we start giving her a hard time, I thought I'd better give her a bit of a birthday and. Uh, yeah, make sure she's going to be nice and reliable for all the adventures we're about to take on. So, that's what's happening today. If you look at uh, the surrounding, it's not too bad a spot to uh, service an airport. <laughs> pretty, pretty spectacular. Yeah. Just finished installing the two little Morse cables inside the throttle body. Gave it a nice clean up and it looks so much fresher. <laughs> She's ready to go back on and then, yeah, continue. So it's been about five hours or more since James started the motor this morning. He's just been working on it non-stop, keeping the dream alive. An amazing man to be able to fix everything that goes wrong on this boat. Yeah, babe, you're bloody amazing. <laughs> Must go all right. <laughs> learning anything about tides today? Join us next time as we really start adventuring around the West Kimberleys from epic sailing conditions to finding an abandoned home paradise called the Squatter's Arms. Yeah, so Cockatoo Island's an open cut uh, iron ore mine. 
Uh, as you can see, they've cut half the island away. So there's some uh, unexploded ordnance on the bottom here. So hopefully we don't hit one of them when we put the anchor down. So we just got our fuel and it was $3.25 per litre. <laughs> Spinnaker run. I am the ocean, deep and blue. Come for a swim, I'll make you feel brand new. I house creatures, both great and small. You're not welcome if you take them all.